Some rather interesting news has surfaced regarding the PlayStation 4 as a programmer is claiming to have a working PS4 kernel exploit, which allows RAM dumping from other processes. Now, alleged C programmer C Turnit took to Twitter to share that he had finally created a working PS4 kernel exploit, and according to him, this means, or would rather imply, that the PS4 has been officially quote unquote jailbroken. Now, basically, this kernel exploit allows him to dump RAM to other processes like SCE Shell UI using Ptrace, and is currently working on patching RAM according to various tweets. Now, he is saying he is going to be releasing a full write-up and video soon enough, but uh, what does this actually mean? Well, essentially at its core, jailbreaking means, as you will probably know, bypassing the DRM restrictions on the console to run quote-unquote unauthorized software. Now, when a console is fully jailbroken, a user could technically install custom software and even make tweaks to the OS. Now, we don't even know what version of firmware he's using. It's currently rumoured that it's the 1.76 firmware, which of course is ancient news now, given that most of us will be on version 3.11, assuming your firmware is actually up to date. Now, let me stress one thing and stress it clearly. This exploit does not mean that the PS4 is vulnerable to piracy. Nothing has been announced regarding encryption, but basically allows programmers to analyse the system and search for vulnerabilities, etc. Now, this is basically a first step, and it could potentially lead to that, or it could not. But this isn't like, hey, you can pirate games now. It is way, way far away from that. Now, what could this actually be used for in its current state? Well, it could be used for online and offline cheats. But uh, that's just one potential explanation. Now, in Brazil, they already have PS4 copying, but it is extremely complex to pull off. There's no online, and there's lots and lots of issues with it. Now, one of the main things that seems to be cropping up on a lot of the comments, and this is on from the NeoGAF forum thread, and it will be linked below if you wish to read the source, is for potential emulation. Now, of course, that would be the main thing, given that the so-called PS2 emulation on the PS4 was a bit of a letdown. That could be one of the things it could be used for in the future, but that's probably way, way away, even if it ever gets to that point. Still, it is a first step in this um, person's road, and we'll have to see how hard Sony stomps down on this, or if they won't bother. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.